climate remediation, that's the same thing. Climate remediation does not mean that someone's going to do something about your climate and stop droughts and stop floods or do something drastic. Climate remediation means solar radiation management. It means that we're going to put up particles and chemicals like sulfur, sulfur or aluminum oxide, cool ash. which are to supposedly going up to reduce the amount of direct sunlight reaching the Earth. I'm going to talk about the implications for several things as I go through the presentation, but I want you to know that these words are real, that the words that you're going to hear from me are a way to manipulate us into not knowing what the word means and therefore not being able to empower ourselves and take action. So as I go through this presentation, I want all of you to think about what actions you can take. And I'd like you, you can't probably, I don't know if you can read it, but it says, how do you like your skies, your weather, natural or man-made? And some of them you can look up and see. The photograph here shows a sky a picture that was taken over Las Vegas, Nevada. And it's got man-made clouds in it. It's got persistent jet contrails. It's got white haze in it. And that's what our skies are going to look like all the time. If some of these activities that are ongoing are allowed to continue, we will have days in which we don't see direct sunlight at all reaching the Earth and benefiting us. And we're seeing this now in many cases. You're seeing the clouds that you see are not real. They are man-made. And the jets, according to all of everything we know, the jets produce these types of clouds and these types of clouds, NASA, the U.S. government, many agencies, Stanford University studies, all talk about as being man-made clouds. In other words, they're not formed by real weather fronts coming in and real, um, in other words, the real climate cycle. So they're man-made. So some of what you're going to see in the skies from now on are man-made. The Air Force conducted a study starting in 1993. It was called In Vitro Toxicity of Aluminum Nanoparticles in Rat Alveolar Macrophages. That's a real fancy way of saying testing the effect of aluminum nanoparticles on the white blood cells in the little air sacs in your lung, the alveoli. And what they found in this eight-year study was that these particles, when you're exposed to them long enough, it suppresses the ability of your white blood cells to defend you from airborne infections coming into your lungs. So it suppresses your immune system. But they also found that these same particles, once they get into your system, they can actually go through the barrier in each one of the cells. They get inside the cells, and these particles can actually suppress the ability of mitochondria, which are in the cells that help to gobble up toxins and things that would be harmful to the nucleus and the, the reproduction process of the cells in your body. These processes are suppressed, and so essentially by breathing this material in, your immune system is dramatically suppressed.